what we're going to do here is simulate a lift charge and if you listen to what i'm saying and watch what i'm doing you'll learn how i do it but the thing is you can do this many different ways like everything in pyro you don't have to do it this way but over the years this is what i've learned is the best method when you're teaching people and people want to be a part of the fireball dude event and i actually allow people to make lift charges when they walk up if they want to so this is what I've learned over the years. It works the best. Uh, you get a high quality freezer style Ziploc baggie. Why would you be messing with explosives and you're trying to save three cents and go buy the Dollar Tree <laughs> Ziploc baggies when you're making some lift charges this big and it rips out the seam and all the black powder goes on the floor. So buy you some decent quality Ziploc baggies or baggies, period. You don't use the Ziploc. But this is aquarium rocks that happened to look just like 2FA black powder. And the volume here, coincidentally, is about five ounces, which would be four gallons of gas in a six inch mortar. So here's what I do. I put the black powder in the baggie. Look how big the baggie is. Then I get the electric match with the shroud still on it. Of course, this isn't an electric match, but it can simulate an electric match real easy. And look how easy this is to prepare okay so what we're going to do is uh without twisting this wire to pieces what we're going to do is kind of twist the bag and make what i call a teardrop see this right here so this is a high quality freezer style ziploc baggie i'm not worried about this seam ripping out but what we're going to do is we're going to take it apart because you could just wrap this all around like so and start taping it would work fine but what i like to do is total perfection so what we're going to do here is i see that this baggie has this much extra on it that we're not going to use so what i'm going to do is cut all that off normally i'd have the anvil cutters like everybody uses in pyro and right now i would just cut that off and i would be done but i don't have the anvil cutters so what we're gonna do is use this knife and cut in the same spot. So you can wrap your tape around this. It's not gonna hurt anything, but since this is being videoed and we're teaching people how to do it, we're showing you that you can do it both ways. So you grab your electric match, put it back in there, just so it's in there is all that matters and the shroud's still on it. So now I'm back to my teardrop. And this is pretty tight, but I'm not worried about it being as tight as I can get it. And that's exactly what it's gonna look and feel like with the black powder. So I just simply lay this twisted part over and I get white tape when I'm teaching people how to make a lift charge. So the white tape is really good because black powder is black. So listen to me, when you put the tape over there and you put it over your twisted part so the baggie doesn't fall apart on you, now you're safe. This is not gonna fall apart. So if uh, this was black powder, everything would be black and you're putting white tape on it. You can see where I'm going with this. I get my thumb and push down on this point just to kind of get it a little round. I'm not gonna do everything I can to make it round, but I do push down on that a little bit to get rid of that point. And every time you tape, what you do is you just put a little bit of tension on the tape. Any amount of tension is all you need. Don't do this. Just put a little bit of tension on the tape. And I call it the pumpkin method. And you'll understand what I'm saying when you see me do this. So I use my stomach since it's always in front of me. And I use my thumb and fingers and I'm just keeping a little bit of tension on this. And look what's gonna happen. I'm going from the North Pole to the South Pole, but I'm spinning it. See? how pumpkins have those ribs or ridges. And that's why I call this the pumpkin method. If you'll notice, all the tape's flat and everything's looking pretty good and I'm not having all these issues with the tape looking ugly and folding over on itself and having what we call fish mouths. So I'm gonna stop right now and you see why we use white tape when we're teaching people, is you can clearly tell where you missed. You can clearly tell where you missed. And I haven't taped over much of the 
wire yet. But what we're gonna do with the white tape is keep a little tension on it and cover everything we can. Who cares if you run your tape three or four times in the same place? But eventually we're going to get to the point where we got what I would call the first wrap. So we're at the point now where we got the first wrap. And if you look at this really close, we've covered it once, but we really haven't covered the wire yet. You can see where this is good and solid and it drops this fast in the mortar. It really does and it makes that sound. But keep in mind that this is aquarium rocks and this is just some scab wire. We're in you know, a training mode here. But this charge, you could go drop and shoot it and it'd be good for five or 10 minutes. But your baggie's right there and this is your worst point of the lift charge right now, the point of entry. Uh, all you have right here is the Ziploc baggie. In about 20 minutes, the baggie is gone in gas. So what we're going to do now is we're going to keep the white tape going, but we're going to wrap the wire uh, two or three inches around the lift charge. But again, if you were just at a club meeting or in the backyard, what you would do is uh, cover the wire like we're doing now, and then you'd go light it. You'd put it in the mortar and uh, shoot it. Now keep in mind right here is still a weak point, so we're gonna go another inch or so past that. But right now, if you were at someone's uh, club meeting or you were just having fun, you could go set this in a mortar and shoot it. But if you're at an event, feel how hard that is. If you're at an event, you know, you would never do this at an event. But that's how hard this is since everybody can't feel of it. But if you were at an event and it had to sit in the gas for hours, then you get the regular vinyl, high quality 3M brand electric tape. And guess what, it's black now. And you're gonna wrap another inch or two of wire around the charge, and you're just simply gonna do the pumpkin method again. A little bit of stretching. We're gonna continue the pumpkin method because it works. But if I wanted to, watch this, I could just start wrapping it around the side. Just so you're flat and keeping it stretched a little bit, it doesn't matter. And what we're gonna do is cover this charge until there's no white showing. And the difference in colors is a big help to people who have never made a charge before because it tells you when you're done. And before, you would never know. And I'm doing this on purpose. These are called fish mouse. See where the tape wasn't pulled really tight? Mm -hmm. You know, those little open areas. You know, gas is gonna get in there and attack that. So, uh, who cares if you have some of those? Just rub everything down. And look, you can see where I didn't get, where I've missed. Really easy. Get the tape, put it back on here. Go in any direction you want to. And once there's no white tape showing, you're done. Now what I like to do at the end is not necessary at all, but where the wire is coming out of the tape, especially on my charges that are big as bowling balls, just kidding, they're not that big. But I do have some really big charges, so what I like to do is this. Go in the same exact spot three or four times so that wire is really secure. But it's not necessary, but I do it just because I want to. And uh, that way, when you have a charge that's big as a cantaloupe and you're dropping it down in the mortar, you know, it doesn't do that. It's not necessary, but why not do it? But that's it. Plain and simple. This would last for about four hours underneath the uh, fuel. And if in doubt, <laughs> this is how easy it is to correct yourself. If I've had uh, young kids make them, and I didn't like it, but their parents wanted them to participate. These are at sanctioned events, and the young kid happened to be the kid of the man who was running the event, a very well-known person. And after they all left, I just did this. <laughs> and look, 
I know what I'm doing, so I'm using black tape. But if the kid at your event did it and it looked pretty crummy and you were a little uncertain, you would get the white tape because <laughs> you weren't even sure of yourself. So you would get the white tape out. Now look, don't go to the hardware store in a mad panic and say, I need white tape. And they're like, oh, we don't have any, but we got yellow and green and blue. Who cares what color it is just so you can see the difference. But I've had people call me on the phone. Oh, Bill, they don't have any white tape. I'm like, well, get any other color. It's still going to work. It's still 3M brand. And it's still electrical tape. So when in doubt, this is what you do. And look how easy it is. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Now, once you've wrapped this wire almost all the way around, you don't need to keep wrapping the wire, but it certainly wouldn't hurt. Anyway, that's it in a nutshell. Thank you very much. All right.